Hello, as promised, here is a stylized wood sculpting video for Blender 3. I was inspired by the channel of Sebastian Cavasoli, a very talented artist. Link to his channel is in the description and he made this goblin with Blender, who carries a wooden shield. He's using a technique to slice the object with a boolean intersect and cubes. As a result, you get four objects that he is voxel remeshing separately. And after that he's using brushes like Scrape or the Grease Brush to add a stylized look and feel to the shield. I was wondering could I use my J Mesh Tools add-on to slice the object and then go ahead with the sculpting process. I'm sure we can, so first let's add a cylinder for the shield. Go to edit mode, press S followed by Z to scale it down. Okay, I want to make it look a bit more crisp, so select these edges and add a bevel. As you know, Ctrl and B and then move the mouse wheel to add more segments. Okay, then I add a subdivision surface modifier, set the levels to 2 and now this looks pretty smooth, so I apply the modifier. Alright, so far so good, now how to slice it. First I snap the view to top orthographic and then I activate the primitive mode of J Mesh Tools. This button here. I keep the rectangle primitive but set the operation to slice by pressing the O key. Then I control left click into the viewport and drag out a large rectangle. Now we use the gizmo to set the location and then control left click onto the mesh to add a slice. And now I repeat this and we end up with four slices of the shield. And you see this is a pretty fast method to cut an object into parts and now we can sculpt these separately. But before we have to voxel remesh to increase the resolution to be able to add more details. I can do this now for every object, select it, go to sculpt mode and then remesh. By pressing shift and R you can define the resolution and then again control and the R key to remesh. And after this voxel remesh you can go to edit mode and here you see the resolution. But again let me show you my add-on way to do this. You can use my add-on JSculpt. So first in object mode I select all the parts and then I go to the panel JSculpt, define the resolution, the voxel size and then remesh. It's a nice time saver because you can remesh the selected objects at once. And that's it, here you see the high resolution for every object in edit mode. Ok, so the objects are prepared for sculpting, so switch to the sculpt mode to sculpt in the stylized look and feel to every part. I start with this one and the scrape brush to add stylized edges. I like to use the clay strips brush for sculpting larger damages and cracks. For adding fibers to the wood, you can use the draw sharp brush. Ok, now I switch to a different object, but you don't have to go to object mode. You can press Alt and Q while hovering over the object and then it is the active one. Alright, I now do the same for every part, the same process, the same brushes, so I speed up the video a bit.
Okay, that's it. Now I use the grab brush to adjust the shape of each part to make it look a bit more natural. Nice, now I go to object mode again, select all and press Ctrl and J to join the parts to one object. After that I add a material and use a brown color for the wood. Perhaps a bit darker, you can also play with the roughness or the specularity. Then I rotate it a bit and we could add lights for presentation purposes. So that's it for this short video, but at the moment I'm really into sculpting, especially stylized sculpting. So if you are interested to see more of this stuff, then let me know. If you like my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Support me as my channel member and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.